Among the 13 games on the schedule Wednesday night, the matchup of the two worst teams in the NBA, Charlotte and Washington, combined just five wins this season. But the Wizards first came under new head coach Randy Whitman, who replaces Flip Saunders. Early on, Tyrus Thomas knocks the pass away. The other way, it's Kemba Walker the layup. He was just four for 19 shooting, though, for eight points. Now watch this, though. Washington inbounds and scores in four seconds. John Wall to Nick Young, just like that. Young, by the way, a game-high 20 points. Wizards off and running early in this one. Jan Vesely gets this to go, and he's fouled. One more look at this. Hey, Washington looking good in the first quarter. 31-17 after one. Vesely, by the way, missed the free throw. Wizards having a block party at home. JaVale McGee rejecting Byron Mullins. Get that out of here. McGee shows you how it's done. He had four blocks in the half. Jordan Crawford rejects Kimball Walker. <laughs> One more look at that. Eight blocks in the quarter for the Wizards. 13 block shots in the game. Andre Blatch blocked by Thomas. He had a block party as well. McGee, though, gets the ball back. Blatch gets the layup after some pump fakes. 48-28 the score. Washington on top at the half. To the third quarter, more Thomas inside with the stuff. 13 points, nine rebounds. 50-37, that was as close as the Bobcats would get. Thomas, yet another block. Career nine block shots for Thomas Richard Lewis, the victim of this one. Otherwise, it's uh, all Wizards. Wall blocks Matt Carroll, then goes the other way. Wall takes it himself, splits the defenders, gets the layup. One more look at this. Wall with 12 points in the game. Wizards in control at this point, 60-41, and then they really turn up the defense and turn it into offense as well. Bobcats turnover. Leads to a Jordan Crawford dunk. Nine points off the bench. 92-75. The Wizards allow 107 points per game, but tighten up their defense, get just their third win of the season, and go 1-0 on the new head coach Whitman.